In this video demonstration, let's take a practical look at using the 3D Code App Link Connection plugins to send either a model or a portion of a model over to your external 3D application to do some modifications there, yet when you're done, get it back without a lot of fuss. For example, uh, if you're in the read topology room, you f may find from time to time when you have a very thin object like this that you want to create some thickness. It's not so easy to do in 3D Code compared to the way I might do it in another application. For example, uh, in 3ds Max, I might want to give some thickness by using the shell modifier. Well, there is no such tool in 3D Code, not yet. Uh, that's on the feature request list. But until then, you can do it by going through a few steps. For example, uh, select the layer, select all faces on the layer, click clone. Okay, and so you could create a a clone on the back side, but then you have to go in and reconnect. So if you have quite a bit of polys, this can be quite tedious. The best uh, approach would be to uh, try to do this when you're at your earliest, most primitive stages, so it's not quite such a task. I'll hit escape. But let's say if you have an object like this, and you want to go ahead and perform this, and it's just not feasible to do all this manually, I'm going to go ahead and send it on over. Go through the file menu, export retopo to 3ds Max. Okay, I already gave it a name. I'm going to go over to 3ds Max and click on my little app, app link icon here. And uh, in a 3ds Max app link, there's auto update function. You can turn that off and manually update if you like. But it's pretty handy because oftentimes, if you have this active, by the time you get over to 3D Coat, or 3DS Max, I should say, uh, it's already open and ready for you to work with. So uh, let's go ahead and divide this model up because it's treated as one object. So I'm going to click the element sub object mode, click on this portion, detach. I'm just going to name it front. Oops. Okay, so now we have it separated. I'm going to click on it again, make sure I have that selected. Go here to the modifier section, click S a few times to cycle through to the shell modifier. I'm going to right click to zero out the outer amount and work with the inner amount only. And with this viewport, perspective viewport selected, I'm going to Alt W to go full screen on it. Hit the F4 key so I can see the edge faces. And um, I'm going to go all the way to 2. Right click, collapse. Right click again, make an editable poly. And with that selected, I'm going to go ahead go back to my little app links panel. At the very bottom, drop retypo mesh as a new layer in 3D Coat. Go back to 3D Coat, and it's telling me to go ahead and hit Enter. It's now asking me, do I want to snap it? In this case, I do not, because there are some places where there probably will be some issues. Okay, so I can hide the original. And you can see how you can quickly get in and out, and that applies no matter where you are in the application. Okay, so that should conclude this practical look at using the AppLink connection plugins in 3D Code. Thank you for watching.